Today I will show you how to make this night vision effect. Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll want to do is right click on your clip that you have, go to Precompose, and here we can call it to 480x270, because this is the composition settings we'll have when we change it, and we can press on Move All Attributes into New Composition, press OK, and now let's double press on it, and here we can go to Composition, Composition Settings, here we need to change it to 480 and the uh, height to 270. By the way, this is uh, Magic Johnson by Ian Music Video. That's where I'm getting the clips from. So now we can press S and we can make the scale to 25 or something just to sc scale them out. And what we just did basically is make the quality way lower. And now we, when we exit out of that composition, this is how it will look. So now we need to press S here and make the scale to like 400. But this is what gives that really grungy night vision effect. Now let's go back here to the 480x270 composition. And here we can start adding some cool effects. So we can press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, the first effect will add this solid composite. And I like to make the opacity to 80%. A blending mode to luminosity, wherever it is. Yeah, here. I like to make the color to somewhat green. Uh, you can make it like very green like this. I personally like to go a bit like a bit less with the green. So somewhere, somewhere like there, maybe even a bit lighter. Yeah, somewhere like there. It doesn't matter. Like just make it something green. Or you don't even need to make it green if you don't want to. And now we can add noise. Added below solid composite. I'll add every effect just basically below from now on and on the noise i like to make the amount of noise to 25 percent and uncheck use color noise and now we can add s grain uh instead of this effect you can add for example add grain it's an effect literally called add grain and the difference will be very tiny so but i just like s grain just a bit more and i'll make the color amplitude to 0.14 and that's it and now i'm going to add s flicker uh, i'm going to make the amplitude a bit lower to like 0.12 and the last effect i'll add is exposure and i'm gonna make the exposure to 0.96 all right now this does not look very good uh, at all but we can press ctrl y again and here we can add some more effects so here i'm going to add s jpeg damage and i like to make the quality to 0.3 you can make it lower or higher it doesn't really matter just mess around as much as you want and the last effect the most important one in my opinion is signal now with this effect we'll need to change up a lot of settings so first we need to go to luma modulation and turn off tape errors and also this turn on and off button as well and here i like to make the signal amplification to zero but sometimes you can actually have it to like 0.1 if you want but here i just want to have it to zero but you can really mess around here and the cutoff filter just make it as high as you can just drag it to the maximum like 1 million or whatever this number is i also like to make the hue noise to just one chroma loss to zero and uh, sharpen to one all right this is basically the night vision effect as you can see it is very dope i personally think at least and if you go out of here you will see that it will now look like that and yeah you can for example add more here so you can add on top of here like motion tile and i like to make the output width to something like 85 or 80 so i'm gonna make it to 80 here and this will give this sort of effect and another thing i like to do for a lot of my night vision effects is that posterized time to slow down the frame rate so i'll slow down the frame rate by two so i'll slow down to 12 now it will just basically lag it's going to be 12 frames per second if you're editing in let's say 30 frames per second then you will make this to like 15 frames per second uh, this frame rate here and if you don't want to create this effect all the time you can go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and let's create like a folder here so i can create like night vision i'll call it best and now let's go into here and here we can call it night vision bottom layer and also 480x270 press save the 480x270 just means the composition settings we have uh although you could have actually made this effect with let's say for 720x480 resolution and now let's go to the higher adjustment layer and press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here we can select this name and just instead of bottom layer just call it top layer press save and whenever you'll want to add it you will just need to go to effects and presets and add these effects accordingly to how we just added them right here and that is just one of the night vision effects you can make you can change the colors more but i also have a different variation for this effect in my opium presets pack so if you have the opium presets pack you can go to one of your clips let's say right click press pre-compose call it 720x480 press ok and now let's go in here go to composition composition settings and make it to 720 and height 480 press s scale it down to like 30 
37.5 and here press ctrl y if you have the open pieces pack which is a text based glitch based and effect based pack that has that ken carson play Cordy vibe type opm and you will have this amount of presets. I think it's over like 50, it's insane. Because I just released a new update for this, so I added a lot of effects here. But for this one, we just wanna add the Opium Night Vision 720x480. You can like scroll this down and you will see the full name, Opium Night Vision 720x480. Add it here. And this is the effect you will get. What we can do is go out of this clip, go back to the Night Vision, the main composition we had. And here we can press S and scale it up to, I don't know, somewhere like here. And now we can press Control to Y, and on this one we need to add motion tile because it really wants a motion tile. And here we can make the output width to 80. I like to add signal on top of this actually, and go to Luma modulation, turn off tape errors, and I like to make the cutoff filter really high here as well. Maybe actually not like the highest setting, but like eight, like somewhere here. The signal amplification to 0.1, sharpen to one, chroma loss to 0.1, U noise to one, uh, Luma noise to 10. By doing this, you will have a super cool night vision effect as well. This one looks a bit even more realistic, I'm not gonna lie. So if you want the Opium Priestess pack, you can use the code POVICAS and it will save you $5 off. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.